Hello everybody, Ben the Pat Tester here. k Pat Testing is the channel. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video about um, how you might go about pat testing or um, checking these um, AC-DC adapters. Now you will see these uh, every day uh, when you're going around pat testing. Um, you might see them for uh, you know, telephone chargers, uh, home telephone chargers, you'll see them for um, stereos, you'll see them for um, a whole raft of things, um, even uh, computer monitors, LG computer monitors use these AC DC adapters. This particular one is a variable voltage DC adapter, but that doesn't really change things, anything. Um, and you've got AC DC adapter on the label. On the end of this particular one is a DC jack, and again, they come in various sizes. Now, um, there tends to be varying opinions on how you might go about pat testing one of these adapters. Um, some will have the class 2 symbol on them, as you can see there. Some won't have the class 2 symbol on them. So do you treat them as a class 2 device like this one? Do you treat them as a class one uh, device? And then how would you go about pat testing them? So we're going to take this one um, in particular. You can see that it's got the class two logo with the two squares. Um, now, before you uh, do anything else, you would do a full vision inspection. So on these particular adapters, you'll find they often come in two pieces and they're either snapshot or glued together. So what you uh, might find on some older adapters is that the glue has perished and if you give them a little bit of a wiggle you'll find the uh, two components will come together so obviously that's an instant fail so that's one common thing to look out for the other common thing to look out for is the plastic earth pin on these um, again uh, could become snapped um, and or bent or the pins bent etc so you want to do your full vision inspection check the output wire as well check there's no damage there's often some damage at the top here um, so once you've done your full visual inspection on this particular type of adapter um, that is it um, that is all you could do on this they are a visual inspection only you cannot do a class one earth continuity test on them you cannot do a class two insulation resistance test on them uh, on this particular one obviously because it's class two uh, you would then uh, do your vision inspection and then you would try and do a insulation resistance test but because there is no exposed metal parts the whole thing is plastic it's encased in plastic there's no metal um, exposed uh, parts or anything like that there is a tiny little screw in there but you wouldn't be able to get to that anyway once it's plugged into your machine that screw there is probably into a, a, a plastic thread inside so there's no way of any internal parts touching the metal component of that screw um, so you can't do a, a class 2 check on it so you would just record it as a, as a vision inspection label it as such as I have done here um, now it's entirely up to you whether you want to charge the customer for that visual inspection or not because you know uh, some might say you know they only take you kind of 10 15 seconds to check with that so i leave that that's down to your individual uh, business um to decide whether you want to charge for those some companies may not even label those but um, certainly when i go around testing i would label every single one and document it as such on the test records for the customer that it's been a visual inspection now some of these adapters won't come with the class 2 logo on them um so some people might think then, OK, well, then you have to treat it as a class one appliance. So I'll, I'll test it as a class one appliance. Well, then we'll go through the same logic. If you go through to test it as a class one appliance, so you do your full vision inspection first, you would then go to try and attempt to do an earth continuity test as you would on a class one appliance. Well, again, there's no exposed metal parts on this appliance. Again, it's fully encased in plastic. You can't do a class one test on that. Um, again, the telltale sign as well on that is you've got a plastic 
earth pin so um, there's no way that your machine is going to be reading for any earth leakage um, because it's impossible to do so um, and then again you can't do a class one test so you would just record it as no exposed metal parts and you can't do you can't do an insulation resistance test again because there's no exposed metal parts now some might say you know you can connect a multimeter to here and plug it in the multimeter and on the dc jack output but the output of these the, the way they're designed is the output of these is fully isolated from the mains input so the output of these will be at the rated voltage uh, as shown on your adapter so this particular one is set to 12 volts so all you're going to be getting through there is 12 volts um, the way these are designed um, is um, there's no chance of any mains electricity um, at the input voltage going down these cables and they're designed as such now one thing you do need to watch with these is make sure you're using a proper branded adapter this is a uniross one you know very common in the uk and around the world you know you can tell it's a good weight as well there's a lot of these adapters out there which are very cheap they don't have the uh, regulatory markings on them they don't have a brand name on them they wouldn't have a, a qc sticker on them and they're, they're they're feather light to touch so experience will tell you as you go around that some of these adapters are not quite what they are made out to be um, so i hope that helps um, please you know do generate some conversation and um, please do kind of comment on the video and please like and subscribe my other videos i have done another video about laptop chargers and how you would go about testing those again very similar to how you would test one of these ac dc adapters um, so go and have a look at that video and uh, do give me any ideas if you want to see any other videos in the future thanks very much